Hi, Founder fans. Jason here. And today's founder is Polly Cooper, a Native American woman who helped heal Continental Army soldiers during the very trying times at Valley Forge. Now, before we get started, I want to note that Polly Cooper, her story has largely been told through oral tradition from the Oneida Nation, uh, and there's not a lot of primary resources. Though that being said, the statue next to me appears at the National Museum of the American Indian in Washington, D.C., and a shawl that she was awarded, uh, which we'll talk about later, has been on display around the country, including at the Smithsonian. So we do consider Polly Cooper's story to be true, even though there's not a ton, as I said, of primary resources. With that aside, let's talk about Polly Cooper. We have to start with the Oneida Nation. Uh, the Oneida Nation was part of the Iroquois Confederacy in upstate New York when the Revolutionary War broke out. And unfortunately, the Confederacy essentially had a civil war with most of the nations joining the British, but the Oneidas and the Tuscaroras joining the Patriots. Now, Polly Cooper was part of the Oneidas. Uh, and while there are many occasions where the Oneidas fought with the Americans in very important battles, Polly's story really comes to fruition during the time at Valley Forge, when famously the American soldiers were starving and had very little clothing or anything of that nature. The Oneida Nation sent 47 men and one woman to bring barrels or bushels of corn to the Patriots who were starving at the time, and Polly Cooper was the woman who joined the men. They brought down the corn. Now, they brought white corn, and this is a little bit new to me, but white corn and yellow corn digest differently and therefore need to be cooked differently. We are primarily accustomed to yellow corn right now in the modern future, but at the time, uh, white corn, you need to cook it a certain way or else it will essentially kill you because you can't digest it. And Polly Cooper helped to teach the men how to properly cook the corn. They were starving and wanted to eat it right away, and she was like, no, 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 you got to cook it first. After this, uh, the Oneida men returned to their home. Uh, and again, they actually brought the corn several hundred miles on foot, by the way. Uh, when the men returned home, Polly Cooper hung around not only to help keep feeding the men, but to heal many of them who were sick with herbal remedies that she had known and the Oneida Nation had known for presumably centuries, uh, using many of the natural herbs and spices and plants that grew in the area. The Continental Army actually wanted to, I'm sorry, the Continental Congress actually wanted to reward Polly Cooper for her efforts, but she denied any kind of pension or anything like that, saying that she was friends with the Americans, and you don't help your friends for a reward, you help your friends because it's the right thing to do. Now that being said, after a while, Polly joined a bunch of the women, the camp followers, who were generally spouses or people who had lost their homes but were patriots that followed the Continental Army, she joined a few of those women on a trip to town. And while they were in town, Polly Cooper noticed one particular shawl that she was very in, she very much wanted, a nice black shawl, and she admired it and left. And as a present, the women who were there purchased the black shawl that she liked uh, and gave it to Polly Cooper as a gift, not as payment, but as a gift, as friends might do. And as I mentioned earlier, we don't have a lot of primary resources, but that shawl passed down through the centuries and currently can be found on display uh, at a variety from time to time at different museums, generally around New York State. Unfortunately, after this, Polly Cooper returns to the Oneida Nation and kind of disappears. There's not a lot of information I was able to locate on her after this really um, impressive contribution to the Patriots and the Continental Soldiers at Valley Forge at one of the hardest moments in the history of the American Revolution. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, do me a favor and hit like. That way more people can find out about the channel and learn it with us. If you're new here, subscribe. I put up videos about different American founders seven days a week, and I'll be back with another founder for you tomorrow.